Hello there, this is Eileen from Elegant Marketplace and I would like to show you how to get this call to action button on top of a looping video. It came from somebody in the community and I figured if one of you has the question, many of you have it. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. I assume that you know how to set up a new page and click the button to use the Divi Builder. And then from there, I used three columns because I want the button to be right in the middle of the page. But if you want, let's say, to have two buttons, then use two columns and add two call to action modules. So let's just review the separate components. First, the blue bar stands for the section um, module. And so I'm going to click here to access the settings. And you can see I have the video background. But actually, before we get into that, let me show you one thing that may be helpful. I like to get my looping videos from cover, C-O-V-E-R-R dot C-O. What happens is you find a video you like and you download. It will go right to your, for me, I'm on a Mac, it goes to my desktop. But based on your computer settings, you may have it set up differently. And then when I open the file, you'll see I have a JPEG image, an M, uh, MPEG4 movie, HTML5 video, and a WebM HTML5 video. So when I oops, get here, content, background, I can I choose the video and I upload the MP4. Then here, WebM, I upload that. And then um, I set the video height someplace else. So it's 100% and, and not in pixels because this will look better um, on a phone. And then these are your choices and then the admin label I don't really bother with. Under design, I leave the width. I want the width to be 100. Custom margin, I put 000 everywhere to make it, you know, full on all the margins. And then here, under filters, I set the opacity. Now, I don't want it to be um, super, super light or super, super dark or whatever. I just, I dragged it to 47%. You can change it to whatever suits your design. Whenever I'm doing an example, everything seems to go slowly. Um, but if you play with that, I'm sure you understand what opacity means, so we won't worry about it. Um, and then on the advanced tab, the main element, you have to put this in. So height colon 100VH uh, semicolon. Then we move over to our row settings. And here, we don't worry about anything with the content tab. In the design tab, we want to make the row full width. Custom gutter width, I say yes. I set that to one. And you know, you play with this based on your designs because it may look better for you on something else. The custom margin for the top and the bottom, I, I guess bottom, it doesn't really matter, but I put in 15% because I don't want the button up at the top. Probably actually would be better around 25, but you know, you play with it for what works for your design. And then, let's see, do I have anything else?
just have that there. And advanced, nothing. Okay, you don't have to worry about that tab. Then you're going to want the module, the call to action module. And then we're coming here. You can see for the content, I, I just called it the call to action button, but you might want to say, you know, learn how to run or join this group or see my portfolio, whatever. Button text, click here, buy now, whatever it is. Content area, you, you may or may not want this, but if you do, that's where you fill it in. And then where it's going to link out to, the background color. If you click on it, you can shift the opacity there or make it any color that you would like. Yes, I want a background color. You certainly do not have to have one. Design, I didn't bother with anything here. However, if you want to create the button to have a special color or width or margin or whatever, you know what? Absolutely knock yourself out. There's a gazillion color options. Okay. And then advanced, there's nothing in there. So once you sort of know where everything goes, it's pretty quick and easy. And uh, I can't wait to see your designs. Please share them in the comments. Thank you.